Okay, so the reason I'm making this video today is because I put a grip video out on TikTok, which went absolutely viral. Um, as of the point of shooting this video right now, it had over 620,000 views. Uh, tons of comments. People in the comments were blowing up saying that I was wrong, that my video, my grip was incorrect. What it showed was a different style, and today we're going to talk about two styles of grip and finding the one that's right for you. All right, so what we're going to talk about first today is commonly referred to as the Ben Hogan style of grip. Now, Hogan gripped the club in this direction through his hand. Now, I see a lot of people out there that grip in the palm, so neither grip video today is going to show a palm grip. We are going to start with the Hogan style grip. So it starts at the base of the pinky, right up into the crook of the index finger, and the heel pad right here clamps on top of the club. This is also known as a short thumb grip. So as you can see, the thumb and the pointer finger are very much level on the grip right now. So Mr. Hogan's absolutely right. This is an awesome grip for many, many players. And what we're gonna do is hit a shot here on the simulator, see how that grip works for me as a player. All right, so this is my eight iron here. And we're gonna see what Mr. Hogan's grip feels like for me. So this is the short thumb grip here. Yeah, well struck shot, nice little baby fade, which is what I love to hit. I don't know if you could hear that, but Flight Scope is telling me I carried that 167.8. Club speed, 93 miles an hour. Ball speed, 118. Lots of good stuff going on with that 8-iron strike there. All right, now here's the grip that went absolutely viral on TikTok. People were disagreeing with me. And what it is, is called a long thumb grip. Now, players on tour that do this... Morikawa, Rom, Spieth, DJ, Tony Finau. You know, lots of the top players in the world are holding the club this way with long thumb. And when we lengthen that thumb, we can't do it from this grip style because if I lengthen it and I start to swing, my thumb will slide back down the shaft. I actually have to rotate the grip in my hand just a little bit. It's going to run more along the knuckle line. I'll run the thumb more up the shaft like this. You can see the separation between the thumb and the forefinger here. Whereas in the Hogan style grip, those fingers are much more together. So that's all good and well, but what are the benefits of this style of grip? Well, this is going to allow for a better wrist hinge as we get to the top. This thumb can leverage the club a little bit better. So for those of you who struggle to get the club all the way to the top of the backswing, attempting this way of grip, this style of grip may benefit you. It may help you pick up some club head speed. So let's see just how this grip works for me. So again, we're hitting eight iron here. We're gonna see some flight scope numbers pop up and see just how well I swing this grip. Again, a nice little baby fade there. I think we might have got a funky reading. So ball speed jumped up, but the spin came down. So I think that was just a bad golf ball. I don't hit my eight iron 178 yards. Um, club speed right in that same window, 93 miles an hour here with the eight iron. Let's try one more here. Make sure we get a proper reading. All right, so I'm searching for the best range balls I possibly can here. We're gonna try that one more time with this long thumb style grip and see how it works. So nice little baby fade, not sure if you can hear that. Uh, my club speed went up by 0.9 miles an hour. The carry went up by just a few yards. Um, the spin was still down. I think that range ball was, was still not as good as it could be, but you can see 
you know, both grip styles could work well for me. As far as club speed, I did pick up just a little bit. I think, you know, typically at the top of the swing, I hinge it okay anyways. So whether I use one style or the other may not matter for me as a player. I'm gonna pick the one that feels best for me. So what I challenge you to do is get out to the range, try both styles of grip, try the long thumb grip, try the short thumb grip, figure out which one feels best, which one's producing better results, and what are your goals? Are you looking to pick up some distance? Maybe try that long thumb. Uh, you feel like you're over hinging at the top of the swing? Maybe try that short thumb, take some of that hinge out of there. So I think the grip should be player and swing dependent. Pick the best grip for you. Get out here, you gotta experiment with it or you're never gonna know. All right, so enjoy that tip. Thank you, have a great day. Don't want to go.